kids how are you all i hope you all must be fine right so today we are going to read about class 4 science olympiad and in class 4 science olympiad which chapter we are going to read we are going to start a new chapter that is force work and energy okay so are you all ready for it yes so let's get started our first question the capacity to do work is called option a force b energy c machine d movement so here the question is asked the capacity to do work so what is the answer do you know if you know the answer you can write in the comment section right so the capacity to do work we call it as energy so what is the answer here the correct answer is option b that is energy okay coming to the next question when a man is pushing the table he is applying dash on the table option a work b force c energy d muscles so when a man is pushing the table he is applying dash on the table so when we push the table when we push something what we apply on that body we apply the force on that body right so here the correct answer is option b that is the force so when the man is applying means pushing the table he is applying force on it okay yes. coming to the next question if ram is able to move the table through a distance then dash is said to be done option a work b force c energy d muscles so in the question it is asked that ram is able to move the table through a distance so then a dash is said to be done so when uh, we are moving the table uh, then what is done do you know the answer if you know the answer you can write in the comment section okay so when we able to move in a body move a body then uh, through a distance so we can say that work is done right so here the correct answer is option a that is work coming to the next question to do work we need dash option a force b energy c hands d muscles so to do work we need what yes we need energy right so if you have the energy you can do the work right and if you have less energy you cannot do the work properly right so here the correct answer is option b that is the energy coming to the next question which of the following requires more energy option a a woman using a vacuum cleaner option b a boy standing c a man bending a metal pipe d a man cooking food so which of the following requires more energy so what do you think you just imagine you in that right and you think uh, for what you need more energy for using vacuum cleaner do you need more energy not that much right a boy standing for that uh, we need energy a man bending a metal pipe when someone is bending a metal pipe then of course we need a lot of energy right a man cooking food for that also we need energy but not that much so which will be the answer the correct answer is option c a man bending a metal pipe right yes coming to the next question when we throw a ball into air it falls back the force responsible for this is option a muscular force b gravitational force c mechanical force d none of these so when we throw a ball into air it falls back so it is asked which of the force is responsible for this uh, you must have done this type of thing right when we throw a ball into air what happens it falls back so what do you think which force is responsible for it yes it is the gravitational force right so here the correct answer is option b that is the gravitational force coming to the next question a football kicked by a boy rolls on the ground to some distance and stops the force which uh, stops the ball is option a muscular force b gravitational force c mechanical force d frictional force so it is asked when a football it is kicked by a boy it rolls on the ground to some distance and stops 
so what is the force which stop the ball so uh, when if you uh, play football or if you have watched playing from someone playing football then you must have noticed uh, when we kick the ball what happens it rolls on the ground right but after sometimes on uh, the speed it decreases and finally it stops so why it is happening which force is responsible for that uh, when it is moving there is a force which is acting on the ball in the opposite direction of the movement suppose the ball it is moving in this direction okay then what will happen an opposite force will act on the ball okay for that that speed uh, it final first decreases then finally it stops so what is that force that is the frictional force okay which acts on a direction opposite to the movement of a ball okay yes next one is an electric heater converts option a heat energy to electrical energy option b electrical energy to heat energy option c light energy to electrical energy option d electrical energy to muscular energy so uh, here it is asked an electric heater it converts what okay so you must have noticed the electric heater right so how does it work when we switch on it then it works right so when we switch on that means what we are giving we are giving it electrical energy okay we are giving it electrical energy and what is the function of electric heater why we are using it we are mostly using it in the winter season right so it gives us heat so here the electrical energy it is converted into the heat energy okay so the correct answer is option b electrical energy to heat energy coming to the next question in a battery cell energy is stored in the form of option a electrical energy b muscular energy c chemical energy d solar energy so in a battery cell energy is stored in the form of what in the in battery cell uh, energy is stored in the form of chemical energy okay so here the correct answer is option c chemical energy so you must have noticed that battery cell uh, we are using it in remote and in many things right so here energy is stored in the form of chemical energy got it coming to the next question the given transformation takes place in light energy to electrical energy option a electric bulb b electric heater c battery cell d solar cell so in the electric bulb and electric heater as the name suggests we are using the electrical energy right battery cell <coughs> we are using the chemical energy but what happens in case of solar cell from where the solar cell gets energy it gets energy from the sun right uh, from what of the sun that is the light okay so here the light energy in case of the solar cell the light energy it is converted to the electrical energy that's why we can use it for cooking purpose right and some, some other proper purpose also so here the correct answer is option d that is the solar cell okay coming to the next question which of the following activities would need energy the most option a riding a bicycle on a level ground b riding a bicycle up a hill c walking d doing homework so in the question it is asked which of the following activities would need energy the most so you just imagine yes so for riding a bicycle we need energy right yes um if we ride in a on a level ground then it needs some amount of energy but when we ride the bicycle up a hill so definitely we are um, we need more amount of energy right because of uh, this uh, we are doing something which is against the gravitational force right it is up a hill for that we will need lot of energy next is walking for walking also we need energy but it will be less than the riding bicycle up a hill 
doing homework do you need energy for doing homework yes according to you yes right because you must be getting a lot of homework to be done right yes uh, but uh, what will be the correct answer here for the most and in the um, we will need more energy that is in case of riding a bicycle up a hill okay yes coming to the next question match column 1 and 2 column 1 electric fan electric bulb petrol energy television battery so electric fan in the electric fan what we are using we are using the electricity right we are using the electrical energy so when we switch on electrical energy we are using and what is happening then the blades of the fan it is moving right so this movement that is the mechanical thing so here electrical energy it is converted to the mechanical energy okay so here electric fan electrical to mechanical energy so i can write here p yes coming to the electric bulb again we are using electric energy or we are switching on the um, switching on then the electric bulb is glowing right so we are using the electrical energy and what we are getting from that bulb yes from that bulb we are getting the light so here electrical energy it is converted to the light energy right yes so i can write here q next petrol engine so petrol engine petrol it's it is the we can say chemical energy is stored there right so chemical energy we use it for various purpose so here chemical energy it is converted to the mechanical energy to get the work done okay so petrol engine that is chemical to mechanical that is r television so do you like to watch television yes okay so how we watch television we need to switch on right so uh, when we switch on then uh, we are getting the, um, we are giving them electrical energy now uh, when you watch television what do um, you observe or uh, you can see the light you can hear the sound right so here electrical energy it is converted to light and sound that is S. Battery, we just discuss it, right? So, battery stores energy that is in the form of chemical energy, and when uh, we use it, it is converted to the electrical energy. Uh, we can use battery uh, to operate um, the remote for, we can say, TV, AC, and for other purposes also. So, here the chemical energy is converted to the electrical energy that I can write here T. Okay? Yes. Coming to the next question, the ultimate source of our energy is option A, the sun, B, coal, C, wind, D, plants. So, the ultimate source of our energy is, what do you think? Yes, if you know the answer, you can write in the comment section. What is the answer? Of course, that is the sun, right? So, correct answer is option A, the sun. Coming to the next question, Rhea pushed a heavy table but failed to move it. Which of the following is true? Option A, energy is not spent but work is done. Option B, energy is spent but work is not done. Option C, energy is not spent and work is not done. Option D, energy is spent and work is done. So, what is Rhea doing? Rhea pushed a heavy table but failed to move it. So, what? He is, he is pushing a, a heavy table. That means he is applying energy. Right? For means he is, trying, he is trying to push the table. So he is applying energy. But it is not moving. So if it is not moving. That means work is not done. Right? But energy is spent. Because he has tried it. Right? So here the correct answer is option B. Energy is spent. But work is not done. Okay? Coming to the next question, which of the following statement is not true? Not true. Option A, machines make work easy. B, machines increase the speed of doing work. C, machines change the direction of force. D, machines produce energy. So, machines make work easy. Yes, we are using machine for that purpose only because it is making our work easy. Right? 
machines increase the speed of doing work yes so uh, if we are using machine we can speed of our work yes machines change the direction of force yes it can change the direction of force machine produce energy do this make machines produce energy no right so here the correct answer is option d machines produce energy this statement is not true okay so this much for today's session let's meet you in the next session till then read mindfully meet you soon bye bye everyone